matrices and uh, determinant this is very easiest and important chapter and the number of teaching hours for this is 13 hours and the maximum number of marks we are going to get from this chapter that is 14 marks it's unit 3 trigonometry will get uh, 14 marks from this trigonometry the ratios and proportions the number of teaching hours are 10 hours and the maximum marks allotted is 11 marks in section e there is one long essay type question that is one essay type one short essay type that is six plus four marks Hello dear students, welcome to this session of mathematics class. I am Mr. Niranjan, faculty, department of mathematics, Vidyashram PU College, Temple of Excellence. Today in this session, I am going to discuss regarding the detailed syllabus of second PUC basic mathematics. This is an introduction class. In this introductory section, I am going to discuss regarding the syllabus and the weightage and the question paper pattern for second PUC basic mathematics. Now let us come to contents. We will be going through the contents. What are the contents? So in this session I am going to discuss regarding the syllabus along with uh, the teaching hour and the weightage of marks. What are the detailed chapters you are going to study and what is the weightage for each chapter and the question paper pattern for each chapter. And pattern of question paper also we are going to study in this session and the chapter recommended to score more than 50% of the marks. So to get more than 50%, 60% marks, what are the important chapters we are going to refer. The textbook we are going to use to refer for this is basic mathematics textbook of PUC. This is an NCRT published textbook. So that is from department of pre-university. This is the book we are going to use for a a reference. Now let us come to the first concept that is syllabus along with the teaching hours and the weightage of marks. So the syllabus, what are the chapters you are going to study and the weightage along with the question paper pattern we are going to study. Okay, come to the first unit. First unit is the algebra. In algebra, the maximum number of hours we are going to utilize for this is 42 hours. So yeah, the first easiest and important chapter you are going to study in uh, algebra is matrices and uh, determinants. This is very easiest and important chapter and the number of teaching hours for this is 13 hours and the maximum number of marks we are going to get from this chapter that is 14 marks. Very easy to get 14 marks from this chapter matrices and uh, determinants. So and the next important chapter is the permutations and combinations. Here the maximum number of uh, time we are going to take for this is 8 hours and the maximum marks we are going to get from this chapter is 6 marks. Now whereas the next chapter is the probability, here in probability the number of teaching hours are 5 and the marks allotted for this chapter is also 5, 5 marks we will get from this probability chapter, right. Then the next chapter is the binomial theorem. This is also a very easiest and important chapter. So to cover this, we are going to take 6 hours, whereas the marks in this binomial theorem is 9 marks. You are going to get uh, 9 marks from this binomial theorem. And the next chapter is the partial fraction. This is also a very simple chapter. In this, we are going to take 4 hours to teach this and the maximum marks in this chapter is 5 marks is the maximum marks allotted for this chapter. So the last chapter in unit 1 that is in algebra is mathematical logic. So that will fetch us 8 marks and the maximum number of time we are going to utilize for this is 6 hours. So this is how the number of teaching hours and the maximum marks distributed for this each chapters in algebra. So, so this is very very important uh, uh, unit in algebra you will get uh, matrices and determinant for 14 marks and then permutations and combinations for 6 marks, probability for 5 marks and binomial theorem for 9 marks and then partial fractions for 5 marks and the last one is mathematical logic for a 8 marks. First part algebra, what is the total marks we are going to get here? So totally you will get uh, 47 marks from this part algebra. So this is very easiest and very important. So almost 50% of the marks will be covered in this unit itself, okay.
Now, let us come to the next unit, unit number 2. In second unit, we will take 34 hours to complete this, the maximum time required to complete unit 2, that is uh, commercial arithmetic is 34 hours and we are going to study around 6 chapters in unit 2, that is in commercial arithmetic. So, the first one is the ratios and proportions, ratios and proportions, bill discounting, stocks and shares, learning curve, linear programming problems, sales tax and value added tax. These are the few chapters which we are going to study in uh, commercial arithmetic. So, for the first chapter ratios and proportions, the number of teaching hours are 10 hours and the maximum marks allotted is 11 marks. Whereas, for a bill discounting, the number of hours allotted to teach is 6 hours and the maximum marks is uh, 5 marks. Whereas, for stocks and share, so you will have only 4 hours in this, you will get uh, maximum mark is 3 marks from this chapter. And in the learning curve, so we are going to take uh, 4 hours and the maximum marks allotted is uh, 6 marks. And whereas linear programming, so this is an extension of your first PUC concept. So the number of teaching hours is 6 and the maximum marks is uh, 5 marks, you will get one 5 marks essay type question. And uh, the last one in this uh, commercial arithmetic is sales tax and value added tax. For this, we will have 4 hours and the maximum marks allotted is uh, 3. These are the few chapters which we are going to study in uh, part 2, that is in part unit 2 commercial arithmetic. So, that is ratios and proportions, bill discounting, stocks and shares, learning curve, linear programming problems, sale tax and a value added tax. So, here we are going to utilize 34 hours to complete this and uh, what is the total weightage from this unit is, so if you add this how much we are going to get, totally we will get uh, 33 marks from this unit 2, that is a commercial arithmetic. Okay, 11 marks for ratios and proportions, bill discounting 5 marks, stocks and shares 3 marks, learning curve 6 marks, linear programming 5 and sales tax and value added tax 3 marks, totally 33 marks from this unit 2, that is commercial arithmetic. Okay, now let us come to the third unit, unit number 3, in third unit that is we are going to study trigonometry. So this is very simple concept, in trigonometry you are going to study only two concepts. So, the maximum number of hours to complete this trigonometry is 12 hours. So, we have only two chapters in this. The first one is heights and distance. So, here in heights and distance, you are going to get uh, 4 marks and the number of teaching hours for this is 4 hours. Whereas, the next concept is compound angles, multiple angles, submultiple angles and the transformation formulas. So, for this we are going to take 8 hours and the maximum marks which flushes from this chapter is 10 marks. So, totally all together in this unit 3 trigonometry we will get uh, 14 marks from this trigonometry. Okay? This is very simple. So, in trigonometry we have only two concepts that is one is heights and distance for that one 4 mark question you will get and the second part is the extension of first PC trigonometry that is compound angles, multiple angles, submultiple angles and the transformation formulas we are going to study and that will fetch us around uh, 10 marks all together totally we will get uh, 14 marks from this chapter that is from chapter trigonometry. Okay. Now let us come to the next unit, In the next unit, unit number 4 analytical geometry. So this is also same extension of what you have studied in first PUC, the continuation of the first PUC syllabus, we are going to deal with this analytical geometry. Here, we are going to study only two curves, that is circles and the parabola. So, in circles, you will, the number of teaching hours for circles is 6 hours, the maximum mass allotted is 7 hours and the next chapter is the parabola. Here, for parabola, the maximum mass is 5 mass and the number of teaching hours 4 hours. So, totally altogether 10 hours required to complete this analytical geometry and uh, the maximum marks from this unit is uh, 12 marks. That is 7 marks from circles and uh, 5 marks from parabola. So, totally you will get uh, 12 marks from this fourth unit analytical geometry. So, only two chapters are there in analytical geometry. One is the circle, another one is the parabola that comes under conic sections. 
Now let us come to the last unit, the fifth unit that is called the calculus part. This is very, very important part. So here also the maximum time we are going to utilize to complete this portion is 42 hours. Then we are going to study around uh, five chapters in this calculus. So what are these five chapters? The first one is the limits and continuity of the function. This is same as that of the expansion of the first PUC concept. You might have been studied limits. So the same thing we are going to study here, limits and continuity of the function. The total number of teaching hours for this is eight hours and the maximum marks purchased for this chapter is nine marks. And the next part is the differential calculus. So here in differential calculus, the number of hours allotted for this is 10 hours. So the marks, the total weightage for this chapter is 11 marks. And whereas the next chapter is the application of the derivatives. So in application of derivatives, the maximum marks is 8 marks and the number of hours allotted to complete this is 8 hours. And the next concept is integrals, that is indefinite integrals, then up definite integrals and the application of integrals. So in indefinite integrals, the maximum marks is 9 and the time allotted to complete this is 8 hours. Whereas the last in this is definite integrals as well as the application of integrals as an area. So the number of teaching hours for this is 8 and the maximum marks you are going to get from this chapter is 7. So in calculus part, we will have limits, differentiations and integration. So totally in calculus, we are going to study only three chapters that is limits, differentiations and uh, integrations that is limits and continuity so for that nine marks and differential calculus that is derivatives differentiations for that 11 marks application of derivatives eight marks and definite integrals nine marks and application of definite integrals as an area and the properties of integrals we are going to get a seven marks so the total marks in this session is 44 marks so this is the detailed syllabus for your second PUC basic mathematics. Now let us come to the pattern of question paper. You might have been familiar with your first PUC question paper pattern. The same question paper pattern is followed for second PUC also. Now let us discuss regarding the question paper pattern. So in question paper pattern, you know as you know there are one mark questions, two marks questions, three marks questions, one four marks question in essay type, five marks and a six marks. Same question paper pattern will be followed for second PUC basic maths also. Now here in part A, section A, one mark question, there are um, 10 questions. So number of questions to be answered is set is 10. So number of questions to be answered is 10. So the total marks is each question carries one mark, 10 into one is 10. And second part, in part B, part B contains two marker questions. In two marks, the number of questions set in part B is 14 questions. In this, we are going to answer 10. So in part B, 10 out of 14 questions. So four choice questions will be there. And each question will carry two marks. 10 into 2 is equal to 20. And similarly in part B, in part C, part C, three marker question, 14 questions are to be set in that you are going to answer for 10. So here also 10 out of 14. Each question carries three marks. 3 into 10 is equal to 30. And the essay type question, 5 marker question part D. In part D there are 10 questions in that you are going to answer for 6. 6 out of 10 each question carries 5 marks. 6 into 5 is equal to 30. And the last part is section E. In section E there is one long essay type question that is one essay type and short essay type that is 6 plus 4 marks. So here there are number of questions are 2 you are going to answer one question one out of these two questions. So each question carries 10 marks. The question is split into A and B. A contains 6 marks and B contains 4 marks, 6 plus 4 pattern. So totally you have to answer one question. So 1 mark 10 questions, 2 marks 10 questions, 3 more 10 questions and 5 marker 6 question and one essay type that is 10 marks question is 1 followed by 6 plus 4 marks. So totally 100 marks. So the number of questions set are 50 questions are to be set in the question paper in that you are going to answer for uh, 37 questions. So we are going to answer uh, 37 questions out of this uh, 50 questions. This is the question paper pattern A, B, C, D and uh, E. In A one mark question, B two marker question, 
C, 3 mark question and part D is 5 mark question in that you are going to answer all 6 5 marks questions, essay type questions and the last part, part E, 1 6 marks and a 1 4 marks question, 1 question. That is all regarding the syllabus and the question paper pattern of second PUC basic mathematics. That is all regarding today's session. Let us meet with the different concept in the next session. Thank you. Thank you very much.